Peace. Welcome to Faith Expressions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our passions must be, must be vanquished so that we give off better the image of Jesus Christ. We reflect on the 25th Sunday in the Ordinary Time. The first reading gives us the idea that the just one will pass through suffering, will be tested because of wickedness of people. When we go to the gospel, Jesus Christ himself now is saying that he will go through suffering and death. The first reading is about the just one of God. The gospel, this just one of God, is Jesus Christ himself. In order that we be able to follow Jesus closer, we have to be like him. See in the narrative of the gospel, as Jesus reveals the coming Paschal mystery, the concern of the apostles and the disciples were somewhere else. Who is the greatest among us? But Jesus said, no. Because what is first in the human order is last in the divine order. You want to be greatest, you have to be last and to be slain of all. What is first in the divine order many times is neglected in the human order, put aside to grow in virtues, to be humble, to be simple-hearted, to be sincere. And that is why we ought to seek what is first and essential in the divine order. And in our human order, we put things in balance and, and we sanctify all that is in our human order. That is why when we go to the second reading, St. James is telling us our jealousies, our selfish ambitions, these are cause for disorder and chaos and many other bad things. So we ought to wage war on our own passions. We should not wage war on each other through jealousy, envy, um, vices, etc. Rather, wage war on oneself. Because waging war on oneself, we will be able to truly carve out the best person that we can be. In this 25th Sunday Ordinary Time, I want us to consider two things. I would like to suggest two concrete things. First and foremost, Courage in our pursuit of holiness. Courage in our pursuit of friendship of Jesus Christ. Courage with it. Why? Because we will surely encounter difficulties. And the difficulties many times is not out there, but in here, inside us. That is why courage, so that we will fight against our own mediocrities against our own caprices, against our own laziness, against our own, you know, uh, no, I am already good. Why, why do I have to exert more effort? Courage to destroy this kind of mindset. Courage to truly become another Christ. The second thing I would like us to, to bear in mind, and let us always remember the journey of sanctification involves suffering and sacrifice. So you and I make sacrifice to the Lord. In our journey of spiritual life, something that we want to do, but because it is something hard, we do not do. For example, we want to pray the Holy Rosary, but we write and we say, it's so long. Maybe this time, pray the rosary, make the sacrifice. Or maybe it's hard for you to talk to a friend whom 
you have had a misunderstanding. Maybe this is the time. Make the sacrifice. Swallow the pride. That's the sacrifice. And then go and talk and dialogue. Maybe it's difficult for you to pray the grace before meals when you are in restaurant. Maybe now. Make the resolution. Pray the grace before meals. In as much as you pray always at home. Well, if you are not praying at home, maybe again. Something that we have to do for the Lord. Something good that we have to do. We have the courage to do it. And then make the sacrifice to do it. I remember when I was still a seminarian uh, in the seminary in Rome. Six of us in one table. And it is kind of automatic um, that when, when the, the jug is empty of water, somebody is going to fill it up and then pour our glasses. Uh, whatever is lacking, somebody has to go and then uh, be available for others. So as we are doing, we were six. And then we already took turns to make the serving. And there was one brother, a seminarian, uh, with us in the table said, um, there was one who already has fetched water three times or more than one time. So he said, no, 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 no. Let me now do it because you are not the only one going to heaven. I want also to go to heaven. You see, the point here is this. That seminarian is willing to make the sacrifice. These are simple things in our life. But these are simple things that can wage war with our own passions that can make us able to have command over ourselves in order to form and carve in us the best person we can be. Make the sacrifice for the Lord. In this 25th Sunday Ordinary Time, think always, Jesus has made the sacrifice for us. We ought to imitate Him. We ought to be like Him because we are enabled to become like Him. God bless. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for listening. And please subscribe if you have not done so and share this video to others.